translating, and then domain name, then domain server. Has that come up for you before when you're trying to type in a command and you forget that you're at the wrong prompt? So it's something that we all do probably from time to time, and it's something that can be kind of annoying. So let's take a look at why you get that error message. That's coming up on today's Monday Minute. So occasionally when we type in a command, we may be at the wrong command prompt. Maybe we're in user mode and we should be in privileged mode or you know, we're in the global configuration and we're supposed to be in router configuration and it just doesn't recognize the command that we're trying to type in. So it happens, just to kind of show you what I did just a few minutes ago, which reminded me that this would be a good video to make uh, because I do need to go ahead and turn this off on the Cisco routers that we've been using for our labs here and for the examples here on YouTube, is that Let's say that I'm at the user prompt and I type in reload. Well, obviously the user doesn't have permission to run the reload command, right? So essentially we need to go in and actually disable the name lookup. Right now it's actually trying to resolve the name reload from a DNS server. Obviously I don't have a DNS server defined here, so it will never be able to look that up. And it's now going to tie up this router for the next couple of minutes or so while that fails. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up router two while that's working and Go ahead and show you what we can do here. So we're gonna come into enable mode, and then I'm going to come into configure terminal. And here I'm basically going to say no IP domain dash lookup. And that's it. So now if I exit out of here, and we'll exit back to the user prompt, now you'll see that when I type in reload, it basically just says unknown command or computer name or unable to find computer address. And that's what we want. And of course, to save this, I'm gonna go ahead and get back into enable mode and just say copy run start. And that way it'll be available for the future as well. And I'll go ahead and take care of that on the rest of the routers before we get into any more demos. So I hope you'll stay tuned for those other demonstrations. Be sure to check out my Cisco playlist or my other playlists as well and the rest of my videos. Uh, thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, be sure to join everyone else and click on that subscribe button too. Uh, if you like the video, click on the thumbs up. And of course, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys soon.